Auburn High School uh, is in need of our attention. Uh, we have a legacy of great programs and we have a facility uh, that can no longer sustain those programs. Matching the outside of Auburn High School to match the inside, um, the heart of Auburn High School would let other people see how great Auburn is. In my experience, I have worked on 25 high school projects, and those projects that are a transformation of the school or a brand new school, we see attendance rising, we see absenteeism going down with students, we see teachers staying longer, and we see much more involvement from the community. I think the new structure would bring pride to the whole community. I graduated from Auburn High, and a lot of the school is still the same as it was when I graduated from there in 1969. I believe uh, there are inadequacies at Auburn High School that have to be um, modernized. Uh, foremost for me are safety uh, issues, uh, raising the standards uh, regarding earthquake. Unless you put a lot of money into the current buildings, you wouldn't get anywhere near the, the, the seismic safety that you would have in a, in a, in a new building in the, in the West Coast. That's it's important. I mean, earthquakes are, are real. I mean, we had one here about 10 years ago that was pretty significant, but there's there's definitely potential for much, much greater ones. It's not comfortable for the occupants. It's, it's not only is it expensive to heat, it's not, it's difficult and sometimes not possible to heat certain areas. It's difficult to cool. There's lots of the parts of the building that you can't cool when it's hot. It's expensive to maintain. Parts are expensive, they're hard to get, the equipment's prone to break down. Uh, there's only certain, some of the stuff is sold. There's not a whole lot of companies who can work on it. This school, whether you look at it, number of work orders, dollar value, or labor hours spent, exceeds the cost of maintaining the other high schools, Auburn Mountain View, Auburn Riverside, and West High, put together. Definitely, I feel like the aging facilities here kind of limit the learning environment of the students. Uh, things in the classrooms like the poor heating, the poor air conditioning. We also have a lot of equipment on the roof. It, it deteriorates faster, it's harder to maintain. The ductwork's on the roof, it leaks water, it creates indoor air quality issues, it absorbs heat and cold, and it doesn't work as efficiently. The new roof will be pitched, it'll, it'll shed the water, it not only looks a lot better, it gives you space for the equipment in the, in the attic space, but it'll give a significant longer lifespan. This building is 60 years old and has been re-roofed multiple times. The new building will, roof comes with a 30 plus year warranty. Currently one of the uh, safety issues at Auburn High School is the nexus of uh, students and buses uh, and student cars uh, moving uh, across 4th Street. The bus parking is dangerous. Um, we're right in the front with uh, parent drop-off and pickup, students coming out from the schools for activities, going to their cars. Then, once we load the students on, we're trying to leave, so you have buses pulling out of that school along with parents, cars, and pedestrians, and it, it is just, it's an accident waiting to happen. Uh, this new project will take all of that traffic uh, out of the streets and put it on site and make it safe and orderly uh, to getting students to and from school safely. One of the features of this um, Auburn High School project is that all parking will be on campus. This is good news uh, for the neighbors and the community. Uh, it's good news uh, for events where the Performing Arts Center and the stadium draw huge crowds uh, from all of our community and it will allow parking to be adjacent to those major venue activities. Our uh, campus is so spread out for one, security wise it's very very difficult to uh, help others um, who are in need anywhere in the campus in a quick hurry because we are so so spread out. I, I see people coming and going and there's not enough security and people to be at each door to know who's coming and going. 
the old building has 83 different doors with outside access. The new building will have two major points of access. So in terms of supervision, it will be a safer place for us to supervise and for kids to be. There's, there was some consideration of remodeling this building. A lot of different options were looked at. To remodel a building like this and to add fire suppression and security systems and new electrical upgrades and all the things required to make meet current codes and make a building energy efficient, some of that stuff is more it costs more to add it to an existing building than it would to add it into a new building. So a remodel gives you a significant portion of the cost with not near the benefits of a new building. You know, there's a lot of technology that teachers ask for that we just don't have the, the manpower and the funds to fit into this building. They, um, and teaching aids and projectors and uh, network connections allow them to share things and that would be included with the new building. They would get not only the current technology, they would get an infrastructure that would support new technology for many years to come. We are going to save $250,000 minimal per year with the reconstruction and modernization of Auburn High School. That's $250,000 a year that can go into the classroom. The PAC is incredible. I think it's the best, uh, one, one of the best features of Auburn High School and even Auburn community. It's one of the jewels of its crown, I think. But it currently uh, does not have a handicapped accessibility. We are going to make that one of the priorities. We're going to provide new seating, new lighting, new sound systems. We are going to provide access for disabled onto the stage. We are going to provide accent lighting and also brand new lobby that will shine as the front door for the facility. You know, renovating of the lobby will make it the outside reflect the quality of the inside. One of the, the great things about the design, first of all, we'll have a front entrance everyone can identify. Uh, new lab facilities, new special ed facilities, uh, the, the drama and the music rooms, all of those things in an area near the PAC so that students aren't having to walk so far. We've never had a commons. This will be the first time that all of our kids could be at lunch together in the same space. Still have an opportunity with the new gym for everybody to be in a meeting place as well, uh, which we haven't had before the baseball field, the softball field, the new gym complex, there's a wrestling room, uh, there is a gym, an auxiliary gym which will still allow us to have gymnastics as well and then we keep our facilities of auto shop and the performing arts center. Auburn High School has been around for a hundred years and we're designing a facility that will build upon that tradition and the building will last another hundred years beyond. It's absolutely critical that we have facilities that are going to prepare all of our students for the 21st century. This is an investment from our community. These facilities will make a difference in the lives of our children, generation after generation.